Hey guys, Chris here, aka Brickin' It, and welcome back to another LEGO review. Now, this is going to be a little bit different from the usual reviews on Ninjago City Gardens because this is actually coming from someone who's not a fan of Ninjago. I'm not saying I hate it, I just haven't really watched much of it, and I'm only up to like series two. So, with usual reactions from Ninjago fans, will be something like this. <laughs> Do you think that you're legally allowed to marry a Lego set because this thing is incredible? I thought I'd do something more based off of if you wanted this to get it into your Lego city or you just want to have something like this for view. So I'm not going to be doing lots of the little hidden references to Ninjago in this set, mainly because I don't know all of them and B, it just isn't the best coming from someone like me who's not massively into Ninjago. So first things first, let's go through the minifigures. Now on the box it says there are 18 minifigures. However, there are actually more than that because you also get a spare change of the ninja's clothes, which is Jay's right here, the blue one. That's pretty cool. That's hidden in the city as well as you also get one that I haven't even pulled out here which is actually right here you can see which is Chen's noodle shop and you actually get Chen he is actually a figure that is used as like a 3D sign which is really really awesome as well now also in the set as a non Ninjago fan you also get this really cool golden Wu statue now if you really weren't into Ninjago at all I'm sure you could sell this for a pretty decent price to take off the value of the set however I actually am getting more and more into Ninjago so I probably want to collect all of the other ones to go with this that's the problem with these they're really really cool so we have young lloyd from the first series and obviously halfway through the second series it's really really cool i believe this hair piece is actually new or it's really really hard to get which is pretty nice to see and on the box he also is shown with scoop which is some sort of like looks like a like robotic dustbin cleaning kind of robot which is pretty cool i actually like putting him in the city anyway because it's kind of more in the high techy area so that's pretty sweet to see him then we also get urban j and urban nia now urban j is really really sweet i love his little hoodie he has here and he has obviously roses because going on a date with nia but this guy could just be a generic minifigure in your city it's not really that important at all and the same with nia she's got this really really cool like leather jacket on and blue trousers again can just be used as a normal figure but they're really really nice and i love the fact that that urban clothes are not the ninja clothes and that's really really cool they've got different ones of that so they've also got another ninja that's the same which is cole he's actually got his gaming controller and stuff that they did for the I believe they were series 13 the arcade pods so that's pretty cool they've reintroduced that back in with the white as he's actually playing in the little arcade secret hideout which is pretty sweet as well now you also get clutch powers who isn't actually a ninjago figure but he has obviously was introduced into ninjago back again but he's his own kind of lego reference so it's kind of cool to see him although people are saying that he's actually in a really cheap set so a little bit of a wasted opportunity but on the box he's actually paired with masaku who is actually Lloyd's mum. I've seen her in a couple of the earlier series. But again, just a generic minifigure and she can be used kind of for the museum area. But I really, really like this one. It's kind of a cool, nice figure to get for Ninjago fans too. Then we get the mechanic and CC. Now, I believe the CC is just a random character added to this series when I've been asking Ninjago fans, but she's like the jewel thief. But then the mechanic is actually one that people have been asking quite a lot for. And I think he looks really, really cool as well. He's kind of more steampunk looking, but again, you could use him as a normal figure. He's a really nice one. I do really like him. And again, I think these are really, really nice references to people who have been massively into Ninjago over the years. Then we get Eileen, Hey, and Kato, I believe they are. Hey or Hi, I'm not too sure what the pronunciation is, is the ice cream guy. Now, he's got a really, really cool, unique print because he's on the Planet Ice Cream Shop. Really, really nice. Love this minifigure for that. Really, really cool to see. And then Eileen and Kato are kind of just like normal city characters. In fact, I believe that these two torsos were actually used in the Monkey King mech as well, which is quite interesting. They're using the same kind of stuff over the two sets. But I believe that this guy actually also has Young Wu's head as well. So if you wanted to use that with another thing, if you don't have Young Wu, that's kind of cool to get that headpiece. Then we get May and Christina as well. One in a really, really cool karate outfit with pink hair. That looks really, really sweet. I like that one. I should say more lilac-y hair. Really, really nice though. And then we also have Christina, who is supposed to be the Ninjago fan, and she actually has a little bedroom decked out in all Ninjago gear, which we'll get to in a second. Really, really sweet figure. Then we also get Kai and Zane, who are obviously just the generic legacy kind of clothing. Very, very cool, though. If you want to get some of the ninjas, obviously, these are really cool to have, and they have all the, like, back piecing and stuff like that, which is pretty nice. You know, you're going to have to have those in a Ninjago set. Then another random small character is this Tito. Now, this torso, I believe, was in the uh, tuning garage last year, the, the street racer. He also comes with a VHS tape for some reason nice to get another kid minifigure though to go along with lloyd and also randomly on the box he's put with the husky which i think is supposed to be a reference to Wu's dog which we don't think exists anywhere but it was in one of the old legacy sets so i believe they just kind of done it as a little reference and then last but not least is ronan and he has a little shop on the lower floor as well really, really cool figure he just looks absolutely awesome. Again, I don't really know much about the character at all, but it's really cool to get him added for Ninjago fans. So let's push the minifigures to the side and we'll get straight on to the set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down and show you each little bit as it kind of builds up to the massive thing that is this. It's not even in the picture. Okay, so we have it down to the lowest level that you can get. And obviously because this is like a Ninjago city set, it obviously has the really nice blue 
trans blue pieces to make up the water really really cool it's on a base plate a 32 by 32 and a 16 by 32 and that's because this little temple here is separate which also has another minifigure that i forgot to mention which is the statue of zane i really really like the side piece and i think again just adds a little bit more awesomeness to ninjago fans but it just looks absolutely beautiful if you wanted to have it in your chinese area so obviously that all clips together you have a nice little bird here as well but what goes on here to start with is the Ronin shop and a little noodle shop. So the two shops at the bottom are Ronin shop and this little noodle shop. Ronin shop looks really, really cool. It's got nice little references like these little cards you can pull out, which actually show little, uh, looks like playing cards, stuff, which is really, really cool. Again, it looks kind of like a, a little magic shop to me, but I really, really like it. I like all the little references they have in here. Also has this really cool trap door that you open up to show the actual bits under here, but you can also pull it out obviously to get more access to it. So Ronin shop goes right here. And this little noodle shop is the next one on the bottom floor. Again, this is really, really cool. I like some of the pieces, part uses on these sets, really, really cool. The canopy here is made out of two black, what we call bonnets in the UK or hood pieces, which are really, really cool in black. That's a really nice piece. And you'll see a lot of different uses for these canopies, which are really, really cool. But again, lots of nice little detail in this small little section, really cool. And for a lot of these, you can actually kind of pull off the front if you wanted to. Not the best way to open these up, but you can kind of pull them open like that off the hinges to kind of get access if you wanted to because these are really really tight to get your hands in there because they're quite tall and yeah just really really fiddly so if you want to set up your figures and then close it up it's not too hard so they hook nicely in the bottom like that okay so this one here goes above ronin shop and i actually believe it's like ronin's apartment or something it's got a really nice little tea area with some really cool stickers they look sweet and a golden statue there now these little statues are actually throughout the set because there's all the different colors which relate to the different ninjas which i think is really really kind of cool to see but for again non ninjago fans it's really really nice to see them and they just kind of look like normal ornaments throughout the set as well really cool i love this rounded window piece here that looks absolutely awesome again really hard to kind of get your hands into but you can open up the window piece if you want to try and get into there and there's also a little ladder piece that comes from ronin shop that allows you access into this little bit but that's really cool that one goes on top here and then this one goes above the little like noodle-ish shop and this is pretty cool. This is like the Ninjago fans house, which is really cool. Really reminiscent of the 10 year anniversary assembly square where they did a Lego fans shop. And this actually looks pretty decent because it has some references to the new sets that are coming out for series 14, I believe, with these little like parasailer things and the little Tiki Island, which is pretty cool. You get some nice stickers here as well. And you can take off that bed piece and underneath is a little dagger for some reason. Maybe the Ninjago fan. I'm hoping that's a replica, but you never know. He could just be i really, really into Ninjago. And then you have this really cool Ninjago sticker here, which is really cool saying visit Ninjago City. Really, really nice to see. But again, pretty simple, but it's really, really effective. And I really like how these aren't all like square. They kind of have all angle around. So that one goes on here with a massive overhang here, which is pretty interesting, but it looks so sweet how it's all kind of built up together. Then really interestingly with this set, different to Ninjago City and Docks is, is the actual kind of areas where you can walk around are separate so you can take them off still so this bit is here and you can actually see this bit is one of the i believe that's like a jet fighter or something for ninjago which is pretty cool and that actually hangs in above the uh, the ninjago fan which is pretty cool but it can also be laid flat so you don't damage it when you put it down so typical of ninjago city and docks you also have these graphic adverts going all the way around which is really really sweet to see uh, instead a little bit different here they have the blue lanterns but i think it looks really really cool and doesn't like mess it up looking at it compared to ninjago city which we'll get to a little bit later in the video so this floor is actually my favorite of the entire build because it has my two favorite shops first off we have this really really cool ice cream plaza which i think is called like planet ice cream or something it's got some really really cool sticker pieces like this penguin one on the front and it just looks really really awesome inside it's really really colorful i love the fact that it's got loads of ice cream details and i love like the japanese looking symbols and stuff on it just looks really really sweet and also it goes with that awesome minifigure i think it's called hi so he's really cool that he goes in here as well this also has really really nice part usage it uses the series 19 game controllers just unprinted to make this really really nice uh, canopy for this section again like i said the canopy pieces are really really awesome here and then the front canopy is actually made up of using the black hatches which is very similar to the mini cooper that they did with the using these that's really cool they've used another kind of style for the roofing and then over in the corner is one that a lot of the ninjago fans wanted which is chen's noodle house now this again has that mini figure on the top here with a really cool winking face and the two noodle cups again around the side it's got some nice graphics and stuff really sweet though it looks absolutely awesome and again inside you can kind of pop the side off to open up and make it really easy to actually get access in there it's got some really nice details and stuff awesome this is one of my favorites like i said these two are my definitely my favorite two shops in the entire build 
So this is already getting pretty massive as it is here, but there's so many more little bits to go into it. So this next section is actually all built together, but it's basically one giant section here, which is the museum, and then a little apartment to the side, which is like a little artist studio. Now the artist studio is really, really sweet. It has some really nice sticker pieces in here, including this really, really cool one, which is the artist actually painting Ninjago Gardens, which is really nice to see. And it just adds a little bit more detail in this color next to this really cool kind of pale orangey yellow. So what you can actually do with the museum to get a look in if you wanted to is actually it clips off and down two rail signs and then you can see inside more of the details of what they're showing. So it's got this really cool Ninjago dagger looking piece in a glass cabinet. I don't know what reference that is to. Like I said, I'm not a Ninjago fan, but it's got some really nice cool little details and stickers on the sides with Master Wu over the top. And I think that's one of the guy's parents as well. I think there's like a mashup of all the 10 years of stuff in this one museum, which is really cool. Some nice sticker details here. You've got the red ninja on the side. This cool like, Scepter, which is obviously from the original series with the um, Serpentines. Then you have this really, really nice small build of the uh, Destiny's Bounty, which is really cool. Wish that piece was in red though, the uh, the dragon piece, because obviously it's a red front, but I kind of see what they were going for there. Really sweet. Then you got some really nice details over to the side where that kind of paying kiosk is with another like a blue jewel in there, some nice cameras. And it has another mini build of the, I believe this is the Temple of Air Jitsu, mainly because I know the designer mentioned something like that, but also that's a set I really want in my collection as a non Ninjago fan because it looks absolutely awesome. Then from the outside, you also get these really cool like graphics here. That looks absolutely awesome. And a crab banner there and stuff. Looks absolutely sweet. But that all goes right here, right behind the tree. So that clips on like that. And it really does like give this nice front piece here with the tree right at the front. I really do like that they've used this 10-year Ninjago printed piece again. Just But that's not it. You also get three more little buildings, which is really cool. Again, this one here is one of my favorites, which is this nice little ninja hideout. Has some really, really cool things like gaming chair and stuff. And you can be gaming right there. And this is where Cole should be actually playing. But it also comes with this really, really sweet arcade machine, which you can actually click the little guy up and down. It actually has a little playability feature. And that's a printed piece inside there, which is really cool. Also on the back of this, you also get some more player features, which you can actually roll this ladder up and down for the hideout. And it's where you get the really nice sticker cheats for like the um, the little movies and stuff going on. This one here being a space police reference, which is really cool. But you also get two more which are hidden in the tower higher up, which we'll get to. You also get this kind of really nice telescope piece here and this really awesome built kind of koi carp thing on the side. It's actually built using two of the Mario feet in orange, which is really cool. I really like that built piece there. And that just clips on right over here above the museum. Then over the other side, you kind of get like this like little meditating section, like temple bit. This again, really, really interesting how they've used the canopy pieces. This is actually using the treasure chest pieces, which is really, really awesome. These are treasure chest lids. Around the back, you have this really cool like little safe, but that's more for the jewel thief who is on this weird like high tech flying scooter that goes on the side, just gives it a little bit of a 3D look to it. But this can be easily taken off if you don't want that on the actual build. And again, I really like the use of the colors here with this kind of purpley, color just to kind of give it a little bit more of a pop and I just think it looks absolutely awesome. So that goes over to the side over here and then in the middle is this really really cool part of the museum which gets added on. It's got this really nice blossom tree build over the top but inside it actually has a skeleton of a dragon which is really awesome and that goes over the museum so again more references to the 10 years of Ninjago and that kind of props right in the middle here and it just gives it that really nice gardens look to it, like a botanical garden. But again, there's another bit here that's not going to be on the camera for this bit because it's so, so big. And that is this massive tower piece right here. This looks absolutely awesome. It looks like something out of Lego Movie 2, in my opinion. It kind of looks like the palace sections. But this also comes off in two pieces. So this bit right inside here is actually where you put the spare banner pieces that you can put on the back that we were showing earlier. There's two of those that go nicely inside. Nothing else much in there, and I think this is actually where you're supposed to put the ninja suit, which I believe. And then above that, it clips on, you also get this really, really cool bit with like radio dish and stuff, but you can actually pop this off. And then inside here, you have another secret computer, so it's like the secret Ninjago headquarters with the uh, the suit underneath, which is really, really cool. And again, this doesn't even look like it can come apart, but it does, it actually goes right like that. And then these pieces are actually the same pieces as this bit right here, and you just add them on and they go down like that, which creates this really, really nice angled look to this section. So that all clips together like that, and then it pops on at the top top like so and you create this absolutely massive Ninjago garden. This set is absolutely crazy. Like I said before, if you're a Ninjago fan, your face expression will be something like this. But if you're a non-Ninjago fan, your facial expression will also be something like this. 
because it is just absolutely awesome. This is one of my favorite sets they've ever released. It's definitely one of the top ones in my collection and it just looks absolutely incredible. All the sections, aside from whether they're in Ninjago Fan or not, just look absolutely impressive. Now this set can actually attach two docks, as well as it can also attach to Ninjago City on its own. Now I have docks and city, but I've only got city built at the moment. But what you can do to kind of connect those two together without using the temple build, is you can actually pop off these side bits right here. That bit and this bit here both pop off, so that you can actually create a flat profile next to Ninjago City. So this is what it looks like with them next to each other. I think it looks really, really cool. It really does blend in really nicely if you take those side bits off. But even with the temple in the middle, I think it looks absolutely great as well. But I do think obviously it was meant more to fit with docks as well. And that's why they kind of use that nice profiling section. So I can't wait to be building docks in the future. So that's my overall thoughts on this set. I think it's absolutely incredible, like I said. But let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be picking this one up because obviously it is a very, very high price tag with the 275 and it didn't come with a gift with purchase to kind of ease that off. But I think they've packed in an incredible amount of stuff for that price point. But again, it is just a very, very high price. But if you really liked the video, give it a like. And if you absolutely loved it, then how about subscribe? And as always, have an absolute awesome day. Right, now this is definitely going into my... Chinatown area on the other side. That's probably going to be a city update this week if I can get a chance But I've also got the lighting kits for Ninjago City So I want to kind of show how that looks to see how this is going to look when I finally get a lighting kit for it